Welcome to this quick five minute yoga class where we're focusing on the pelvic floor. So just a quick disclaimer, please make sure that you are at least six months postpartum as I am not a postnatal yoga teacher. I am not specialized in this at all. This is just from what I've been through and my understanding of this. If you do like this class, I would love it if you could subscribe and hit the like button down below and let's find some space. Okay, so we're not actually gonna be doing very much moving today or not much that you can see because obviously it's all gonna be in the pelvic floor. So first thing I want you to do is find a comfortable position. Now that could be cross-legged, it could be sat up on a chair, could be maybe a block underneath your bum just to lift your pelvis up a little bit higher, completely up to you. So the way that I always thought tensing your pelvic floor muscles was, the way that I always understood it was as if you're going to the toilet and you're holding in your wee. Um, now I did a course a little while ago where she explained if you tense your pelvic floor right now, if you just try to tense your pelvic floor, whatever that means to you, notice if you are tensing your bum muscles or notice if it's like you're trying to stick your bum out, if your belly comes out. Now, when you tense your pelvic floor, what I do, did, was my bum cheeks were squeezed together, okay? So there's actually a few parts to the pelvic floor and that's more towards the back. If you tense your pelvic floor and it's as if you're trying to push your belly out, that's more towards the front. Now people can do these both ways. I always used to do the back and tense my bum cheeks. And what you wanna find is that in between part. Hello, I'm just quickly hopping on here as I edit the video, um, and excuse the statement because it's a storm right now where I live, um, just to say, sometimes when you just tense the back and by the back i mean the bottom of your bum it's not like i'm i was completely tensing my bum like i know where my pelvic floor is but i was tensing the back of the pelvic floor sometimes when you're constantly tensing one side the other side gets weak so this is why we need to find that middle ground um, now that is what changed everything for me because i was constantly tensing my bum rather than actually lifting up from the pelvic floor. So if you try now just to tense the back of the pelvic floor, where you're kind of tensing, it's like the bit in between your um, bum hole and your vagina, okay? You're like pulling that, but it squeezes your bum cheeks together. And then try and tense it from the front, where you're, it's like the, your belly wants to balloon out in front of you. It's like you're trying to open your chest. And then try and find that bit in between and just notice the difference there. I'm doing so much here and it's so hard for you to see because obviously it's all happening within. Um, and as you tense your pelvic floor, you might notice that your stomach, your ab muscles kind of turn on. And if you know anything about yoga and you know about the bandas, you've got your mula banda, which is your root banda, which is your pelvic floor. Then you've got your udiana banda, which is like in your center. And when you tense this, you pull it in, but also up. And that's what's, what's happening. It's like you're tensing things and it's moving it up. So I'm just looking at my cats knocking over my other camera. <laughs> okay, so that's the kind of feeling we want to be tensing when we do our exercises now. So we're gonna come and lay on our backs. And as I said, I'm keeping today's video very short because I know a lot of you are busy with kids. So we're gonna come into a bridge pose. So your feet are gonna be quite close to your bum. Hands are gonna be palms down on the mat. And as you lift up into your bridge, I want you to stay looking up because if you turn your head, you could actually do neck damage. So if you need to look at the camera, lower down and look. But you're gonna lift up and see as you lift your bum, if you can tense your pelvic floor. Now again, normally in bridge, we really wanna tense the bum muscles. Don't do that. See if you can tense the pelvic floor and you might notice even your thighs are turning in slightly. So find that middle ground Exhale, back down. Inhale, come up. As you come up, tense the pelvic floor. You might not feel a major difference here. Exhale, back down. You might feel a lot. Everybody's gonna be different, but we're just trying to find that middle ground of not just tensing the bum and not trying to stick the belly out. Exhale, down. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. So again, it's just that center of the pelvic floor. As you inhale, you're pulling that up. 
Maybe then stay at the top, see how long you can hold that, and then come back down. You should feel quite a lot around your um, stomach muscles and the muscles inside. Obviously, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to strengthen the muscles inside. And this is the problem with what I was facing, which maybe some of you are, that because I was tensing my pelvic floor, or thought I was, um, all I was doing really was tensing my bum muscles and really strengthening the back of my pelvic floor, but not the front. Okay, so this is where I had the problem. And this is why, you know, you pee yourself quite a bit <laughs> because I was strengthening the back, but not the front, and I wasn't doing the whole thing. So try to really make sure you're getting that middle ground. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now grab behind the thighs, just rock yourself up. And we're just gonna do that again in a seated version because sometimes you can feel it different in different ways as well. I like to do the bridge method just so that you can feel the difference. Sometimes it's nice to have gravity kind of helping. So just come to a seated position and again, Tense the back, back of your pelvic floor. Tense the front, maybe your belly starts coming out. And then lift all of it, all of it together. Use both of their muscles to lift up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift both. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift both. Exhale, release. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this video was helpful. Please leave me a comment and let me know. As I said, I am not a professional in this. This is just something that I have learned that absolutely changed it for me. So I wanted to share it with others. So thank you so much for joining. If you would like, I do have a Facebook group for um, yoga for parents. So if you like these short classes, come and join. I'll leave the link in the description below and I will see you next time.